Hi guys and welcome back to LPB Racing for race four of our random grid replica championship on Project Cars 2. Stacker is on pole with the random grid as we get ready to go at Silverstone. It is dry now for race four. And we're getting ready for the lights to go out. Let's take that off because it's stupid how it stays there. And off we go. Stacker gets a good start. Oh no, it's the accident happened already. Footman's gone round in the background. Footman goes round at the back. Stacker into the, into the first corner first. Everyone else trying to go through. As we look at, uh, into the mid pack, down in towards the complex, and oh, Stevie Paramore Fanders that completely outbreaks himself. Blatantly hits someone as well. It's absolute carnage here at Silverstone. And then Blatantly rejoins everyone else trying to go through. Keith there as well. Brad is getting hung out to dry. Everything happening at once. So again, after lap one, we'll get some replays in at the start as Callum slides wide there with Brad is coming down to, to get him. So it is Spapper in the lead from Stacker. Into Brooklyn's we go. No way through there for anyone else as we look at Stacker then in second place. Oh, he's lost it. He's lost it on the inside. He's completely gone round on the infield. He's just completely gone round. And Stacker goes round on the grass there and he's got to try and rejoin now. How's it our blade up to third? <coughs> There's Stacker rejoining. Excuse me, guys. As Stacker rejoins. And everyone else trying to come through. There goes Bradders up the inside. Oh, oh. risky stuff. Footman coming back from the back as well as we look at Steve Paramore fan who causes a lot of the, that action at the first corner. Don't think he's quick enough to be in the championships at the minute but we'll see when he uh, go, does the driving standards test as we go with TY through the Maggots Beckett's complex really pushing that Marek as Spapper in the lead then from bids to flashing his light saying you're next sunshine and then Azadar Blade third, Keith fourth, TY fifth, Callum sixth and then we've got Steve Paramore fan coming out the uh, Maggots Beckett's complex and we've got a few other cars side by side further back Stacker in 12th Stacker's back down to 12th position then as we look at everyone else Bradders comes down the, the straight very very weavy don't know why but he's weaving on the straight for some reason as we go Stacker hits the back of him and then take, and takes himself off I don't know whether Bradders breaks but again that'll be in the first lap replays as we look at Keith now who's fourth coming down to the next corner with T.Y. behind him closing up. As will T.Y. go for a move here into the next corner? T.Y. looking for a way through, but Keith defends the inside, not leaving a gap. As now Keith's got to switch back to the other side. We'll get those replays in in a moment. We're just going to see what happens in this corner. And oh, Keith loses the back end, and T.Y.'s going to go straight around the outside, probably. Yes, he does, right around the outside. And Keith down to fifth. So we'll get those first lap replays in for you now. Here's a replay of the start then on board with Putman and listen, you'll hear the note drop. He just drops, he's in like second or third gear or something, and then Neil can't do anything to avoid him and hits him in the back. So unfortunately Putman was his uh, own demons there because he was in the wrong gear at the start. Okay, here's a replay of his uh, first few corners action on board with Blakeney then. So going in on down to here, watch Steve Paramore fan bang! Hits Growlish straight off the course and then Blakeney actually hits Keep off. But then he does actually slow down and let him go because it was in all the melee, it was all a bit tight in there. But Steve, uh, but Paramore will definitely be getting some kind of penalty for that pitch and rally off. Okay, now we're on board with Bradders down towards Brooklyn's. Watch the cars ahead. Keith and Steve is both lock up and break, and then everyone just spin. And then there's nothing else that, anyone, that they can do about it. Everyone just spins on their own accord, and then that just causes a pile up behind. So that, all that, all those incidents at that corner was actually no one's fault. It was just everyone spin, spun at the same time. Okay, here's a replay of what happened to Stacker on lap one with Bradders. So we're going into Stowe. See Stacker's brakes way too late, hits the back of Bradders and then just spins himself off and then has to rejoin now. So as we come back from that then, Blakeney in 10th place, he's pressurising Growly Bear and Bradders and Footman and Neil Farmack at the back as well after all those incidents on the first lap. So amazing all to see all them back here. So Footman versus Neil Farmack, Neil Farmack up the inside of Footman into Brooklyn's, Footman goes wide and Neil just... <laughs> Loses the back end of the car a bit, but so uh, Footman bang up the inside of Bradders and then tries to get Blakeney as well. A bit over ambitious or what, but Footman now oh, almost sandwiched in between the two orange cars. Bradders not leaving any not leaving any prisoners. So is Blake. God, this is intense. Oh bang! But what, what was that for? Blakeney just comes across on the straight and hits Bradders in the side. It looked like it were on purpose, but I'm not sure if it was. But again. More replays will be needed after this battle's finished, but it's not over yet. Both men not lifting out. Bradders gets the position for now, but we'll get a replay on that. OK, here's a replay on board with Neil Farmack on lap two to see what happened with Putman, Bradders and Blakeney. So we're looking here 
couple of around the outside, and Bradders leaves some space and he comes across back and actually hits Putman himself. Putman then up the inside of Blake and trying to take advantage. So Putman was actually in the right there, and Bradders came across on him. Well, that was okay. Not really much fault done there. As we go down the straight, then watch Blakeney and Bradders as then uh, Blakeney all of a sudden decides to move out to pass Putman, doesn't realise that Bradders is there, then slows him to try and let him go through. More contacts made. And then Neil Farnack's probably thinking, what the hell are these guys up to? And then down towards the Stowe corner, sorry, down, down towards the Maggots and Beckett, eventually Bradders gets the place. As we come back from that then, Steve Paramore fan with the other Stevie behind him. So, uh, Steve Paramore fan, not with the best lines out of those corners, you could really do with that driving standards test, uh, just to learn the racing lines and just... Uh, be a bit more com to get a bit more competitive because it's a uh, it's not just a test to say you uh, you suck it's a test to try and help people to get better and faster and to obviously help overall clean up the racing in the group as stevie goes on to the outside of steve this is going to be fun but oh, stevie goes back up the inside and paramore that's what we'll have to call him from now on paramore hits him in the side stevie goes around paramore now with growly on the outside Growly goes right round the outside off the track, so that's not good. Growly could get caught for that, so not good there from Growly Bear with track limits and passing him. So I'm not trying to, I'm not being as uh, strict with track limits in this season, but when it comes to moves like that, I definitely will. As Steve Paramore fan outbreaks himself, Footman tries to look for a way round, no way through. As we'll just have a quick look back to Keith, who is got Callum all over the back of him down towards Brooklyn's Callum putting the pressure on but no way through yet as we look at the other group Growly Bear there he is in 8th place and then we've got uh, Steve Paramore fan back there as well we've got Bradders and Neil close to each other as well so there's a few battles up and down the field now Stacker unfortunately has uh, quitted he's got a bit he's had a bit a bit fed up so uh, Stacker unfortunately race quits and that means he'll carry a penalty in the next race as we go into the next uh, into Woodcut, down to the to Cops Corner with the others, and let's have a look at Keith and Callum because they're still very close. I think they're alongside each other actually, and Callum gets through. So Keith must have made a mistake through Copy through Cops, and then uh, Callum goes through. So Callum goes through there. And then we look back here. We've got Footman and Steve Paramore fan. So Paramore and Footman side by side, and still side by side, not giving no quarter. And Paramore runs a bit wide there, Footman tries to go through, Neil and Bradders in the background having a, having a bit of a tussle, but uh, Bra uh, Neil Farmack coming out on top on that one. So Footman now still pressurising Paramore as they come down towards Stowe Corner, Paramore in front of the yellow car, then it's, got, then it's Footman in the green car. Uh, Paramore goes wide, Footman goes up the inside, and Footman gets through, so Paramore with, with a mistake there, unfortunately, and they, now he's got Bradders hunting him down, Captain Lunge himself. So let's have a look at Growly Bear. He's trying to catch up to Stevie. He's one second off Stevie, two seconds in front of Footman. So that's quite a close gap there as well. Callum and Keith, a bit more of a gap between them. Spapper and TY, the guys that battled in the first race, they are second and third. Bidster is in the lead. So Bidster's built up a lead now, five seconds in front of these two. So there's Spapper coming into Brooklyn's, that deep line again. And here's Bidster. He's in the lead of the race. He's kept out of trouble and got to the front. So. Bits doing the lead of this race then from T.Y. and Spapper. T.Y. slow there, so was the contact with him and Spapper? Did he actually make a mistake? We'll get a replay. Okay, here's the replay on lap four. See what happens between T.Y. and Spapper. So going down into this corner then. Spapper goes into the corner and loses the rear of the car. T.Y. can't actually avoid him and actually ends up pointing him the right way. So Spapper owes, a, uh, owes one to T.Y. there. As we come back from that then, Growly Bear in 8th place, let's have a look for everyone else, Neil Farmack and Steve, and uh, uh, Paramore's behind him now, so Paramore's made some mistakes, and Neil Farmack trying to keep up with Bradders. So again, the field a little bit more spread out this race, but that doesn't mean it's not going to close up. As Neil Farmack looks for a good run out of this corner to try and catch Bradders along the next straight. Here, here's a look at Keith in sixth place doing a very good. Uh, that's a wall, unfortunately. The game, game. That's a wall. There we go. There's Keith. Keith in sixth place doing very well here, pulling a, a nice gap. And then we've got Ty trying to catch up to Spapper as well. Azadar going a bit wide in the background. As we go down to the next corner, let's have a look at Bradders and Neil. They're still very close together. Bradders and Neil through the maggots, Beckets. So we've gone through maggots, gone through Beckets. And then the exit, the little kick to the left here is Chapel on the way out. 
and then down the hangar straight getting the power on in those two Ligiers exploiting every single horsepower they can down the straight and uh, not close enough and there's stick Paramore in the background all over the place he's just come out the corner and gone towards the grass so unless he wants to visit the marshals that's not the way you do it but uh, Spapper and TY now for seven tenths apart so very close for uh, the battle for second as Bidster still pulls out that lead eight seconds now on Spapper so Bidster definitely with his head down in this one getting on with the job and wanting to score those maximum points with the fastest lap if he can as well so still a close battle for second TY trying to keep with Spapper as you go on to the Wellington straight. Meanwhile, Stevie and uh, Growly are... Uh, it's not, sorry, Growly and Footman are quite close. They're a couple of tenths apart. Wait until the camera catches up to them. There they are. Growly in the black car, Footman in the green car. The two that were rivals last last season in the uh, in Division B in the multi-class championship. And Footman came out on top in that one by a dominant margin. So let's see if Growly Bear can keep in front of Footman in this time. As we look in the background, we've got Bradders and Neil having a really good scrap back here. Two tenths apart, Neil's closing up. Bradders defends the inside, he's actually weaving on the straight, so he's got to be careful not to do that too much, otherwise he could incur the wrath of the steward. So we don't want that as we go into the into Luffield. And Bradders has got to be careful because he's got a lot of penalties uh, added up so far. He's got, he's got two five-second penalties and a ten-second penalty from the last race. So he's got to be careful now because the... the if you have two five second penalties that's your maximum then you've got then it's 10 second penalties even if you do something that's worth so say for example if you do an instant that's only worth a five second you will actually get a 10 second because you've exceeded your amount of fives that you're allowed so so Bradders is going to be really careful in this one as Neil Farmack has a little look but no way through just putting the pressure on meanwhile Spapper and T.Y. half a second apart as they come into club chicane out of it and round the little kink onto the straight towards Abbey the first corner this is the new start finish line well it's quite old really because if you consider when it was built 2010 but uh, only when it got first used but yep, 2010 it's been up so it's been up nine years now but uh, I still consider it the new one because obviously I do I do I did prefer Silverstone in, in its old layout uh, or its older layouts but still it's not a bad track it's a good challenge uh, the, only for, the only unfortunate thing I don't like about Silverstone is the fact that it is flat and well yeah it's just flat and boring really and wide so which is not what British roads are British roads are up and down up and over up and down dale you know they're up, up and down hills windy narrow and, and challenging that's what they should be so it should be tracks like Donington Park that get the recognition not Silverstone but still Silverstone hats off it is a, it is a really nice circuit to drive around and also it's good for uh, a high average speed as well you can get a good high average speed around Silverstone because it's practically an airfield but it was back in the day so there's Spapper in second place followed by TY oh goes a bit wide there but just about keeps it on track Keith meanwhile has been closed in by Stevie so Stevie looking to gain yet more places in this race so seventh place for Stevie so far he will he make it sixth as we go down to Cops Corner Keith goes into Cops, very nice line through there from Keith, nice and consistent, Stevie with a good line as well just behind, so close between them. Meanwhile, T.Y. and Spapper still battling out for second and third, Spapper in second, T.Y. in third, lap six out of eight now, so it's eight laps for this one, because it was seven laps in the previous, because it was wet, so the wet races have one lap less, just to try and make up the time difference lost in the, with, the, with the conditions. Spapper defends the inside from T.Y. then, now he's got to think about using his mirrors and defending because Spapper's got to keep one of the best behind him like I said in the last race but I said that in the last race and he did it so we'll see if he can do it again this time let's see if TY can put him under more pressure meanwhile Bidster up the road 13 seconds ahead building a gap doing what he does best at the front but building a gap and staying there Spapper in second place keeping back TY from catching Bidster so doing well here Spapper hats off to him in his first proper appearance in LPB racing he's already won a race so he's already cemented himself as a championship contender in this championship already as they go out of this corner and down the straight we go lap 7 out of 8 so the penultimate lap of the race now Stevie closing up to Keith, but still not close enough to get the move done so uh, Keith holding his own for now in 6th place very good job by him remember Stevie's teammate is Growly Bear who's uh, behind him and then Keith's teammate is Neil Farmack who's really far down the order in this one not had a good race in this one Neil there he is in the uh, in the Ligier not had a good race in this one hopefully he'll do better next time out at Sugo in the uh, in the track day cars meanwhile Spapper and T.Y. still half a second apart not one of them make oh, oh, oh. 
I was just say, I was just about to say not one of them making a mistake, but then TY goes and does that and puts me wrong. But never mind. So Spapper 3000 through Maggots Beckett's nicely through there. TY comes through in third and just behind him. Spapper a bit wide there onto the straight. That could help TY if he didn't get a go wide himself. You can see the gap just going down slightly because of the draft. But he'll not be close enough before the next corner to make a move anyway. Meanwhile, Growly Bear and Footman less than a less than a tenth apart. Footman looking for the inside on Growly, no way through. Stevie closing up to the back of Keith, so it's all happening now in these last few laps. Oh, Growly makes a mistake there, goes wide. That could be Footman's chance onto the straight. Growly's lost speed there. As we go onto the straight, let's go on board with Footman. Here we are on board with Footman and the cockpit view. Let's see if he goes down towards Stowe. Is he going to go up the inside? No, he's not. Growly goes wide, though. Footman goes up the inside, and hello! Backwards, and then you see the little camera there on the right-hand side. Growly's now behind us, so good move there from Footman. Gets past Growly on the inside, because Growly made a mistake. So that's all it takes to swap a position. Last lap of the race, then. Bids to 16 seconds ahead of these boys, but Spapper and TY have not given up yet. They will not give up until the line comes up to them, and they see the chequered flag. TY closes up down the straight then. Down towards Brooklands for the last time in Luffield. This is one section that you can't afford to get wrong as Spapper goes in for his usual darty line in, a very touring car-esque line, not what you call a, a prototype line. But it seems to work. He's still kept the same gap to TY more or less as we go out the corner. So Spapper doing very well to keep TY back here. As we look back, we've got Stevie and Keith still very close together as well. We've got Bradders and Neil. They're quite close as well. Neil looking to make another place on Bradders here as we go into the hairpin. And Bradders runs a bit wide. And Neil closes up, but no way through yet. Spapper then and Ty into the last into the Maggots Beckett's complex for the last time. Whereabouts is Bidster? He's just coming up towards the the line now, not too far. So we'll just come back to Bidster in a minute as we go look, looking at Ty and Spapper. The gap's grown a little bit there, so not no one's going to change there. I don't think. As Bidster comes up to cross the finish line to win the race, dominant fashion, 16 seconds ahead of his rivals. Well done to Bidster, dominant fashion, and he gets the fastest lap as well, just to rub it in the faces even more. So Bidster wins the race, well done to him. Oh, TY's gone off! TY's gone off, he's made a mistake on the last lap. Don't know, I don't think he was close enough for, for contact, but uh, he's spun round there. We'll get a quick replay now. OK, here's a quick replay of what happened to TY on lap eight then. So coming into the... Stowe corner for the last time. You see he follows Spapper's line, but then just puts the power on too early and then goes towards the wall. And now he's going to try and get recovered as quick as he can because there's more cars on the way. He uses the service road, tries to get the power on, and that Marek takes forever to get up to speed. Arsenal Blade gets the goes through to third, and now Calm's right behind him. You can see there, and then it's quite a close finish between these two. We see Ty going through here, and then Callum behind, but Ty just about holds off. So as we come back from that then, TY back down to fourth place on his own accord. Spapper gets second place then. There he is, Azadar Blade's going to come through in third. TY's going to be fourth. And then it's going to be Callum in fifth. Just behind TY. So good finish there. There's Keith in sixth place. A good solid result for Keith. He'll be very happy with that performance. And then we've got Stevie and Footman in the line. Very close indeed. Stevie just ahead of Footman for seventh and eighth positions. And then, so that, that's how they cross the line. Growly Bear's going to be in ninth place. Bradders and Neil, they're coming down to the last corner now. And I think Bradders has just lunged down the inside of Neil. We didn't really see how that happened, but now he's going to run wide onto the outside. Neil Farmack trying to fight back, but no way through. So Bradders gets 10th, Neil gets 11th, but we'll have to see if that stays that way. And we'll have to get a replay on that now. As we come back from that replay then, Blakeney coming up to cross the line then in 12th position and Paramore, so Steve Paramore fan, we call him Paramore, he's going to be in 13th place, unfortunately Stacker is a retirement due to uh, a rage quit, so unfortunately for Stacker no points, and also he'll carry a penalty in the next race for rage quitting. So it's going to be Blakeney from Steve Paramore fan in 12th and 13th. So we'll just get those results confirmed for you now guys. 
Okay, guys, here's the results from that one then. So, Bids to Texas, a really dominant victory. Four different winners from four different races. That's brilliant. So, 20 second lead for Bids today. Spapa in second place. Third place for Azadal Bay gets on the podium. Well done to him. TY in fourth. Unlucky at the end there. Callum in fifth. Key finishes in sixth position. Stevie in seventh as we go over the page. Then it is Footman in eighth. Growley finishes in ninth. Tenth for Bradders. Eleventh for Neil Farmack. And Blakeney in 12th, Steve Paramore fan in 13th. Stacker, unfortunately, a non-finisher due to rage quitting, so he will have a drive-through at the next round. So there's your winner, Bidster in the Ligier. Uh, he's won this race, and we'll see you guys next time for round two. Take care, guys.